A documentary that walks and talks. A documentary that teach and learn. The cultural heritage. And the natural heritage. This is the group 5 featuring... The Beauty and Glory of San Joaquin. I agree with you, Amega Cha. And that time, they saw an Aita who was fishing along the riverside. And through that fisherman, they learned about Maricudo, his people, and his territory. The Amega Lords, and through that fisherman, they sought an audience with the Aita chieftain. And then, they sat down with the natives, negotiated, and agreed to purchase the lowland of Panay for their abode. Oh, really, Amega Cha? But according to the folk legend, this island was purchased with their chieftain Maricudo and his wife Maniwantiwan for a golden salakot, which is what we call the hat today, and a golden necklace, or it was a long golden necklace that was said to have touched the ground. I agree with you, Omega Lords, and then the Datus settled in the coastal areas of the island. So what happened to the natives, Omega Cha? The natives agreed to live in the mountains or the hinterlands. Oh. San Joaquin's marine protected areas form networks of remarkable places along its coast that protect its municipals, incredible variety of marine life, and help sustain its communities. As a developed town in the province with a rich and important maritime in marine and coastal environments and its resources. In order to establish a representative network of marine protected areas, San Joaquin's marine environment has been classified and a range of habitats and ecosystems were represented. The Kulyatan or Sinubuhan Marine Sanctuary in Barangay Sinubuhan, the last barangay of San Joaquin with a total population of 1,700. This sanctuary aims to restore the underwater condition in the area allowing fish stock to regenerate through time with the help of the local marine sanctuary management. The Kulyatan Marine Sanctuary contains an array of marine biodiversity in the area. The National Historical Institute marked the church as the National Historical Site in 1980. Pursuant to the Presidential Decree Number 260 of 1973 and Presidential Decree Number 375 of 1974. In the 1980s, the church structure underwent renovations. The side and back walls in the altar area was reinforced by cement by local priests, which, according to heritage conservationists, caused the loss of the structure's integrity and authenticity. The structure was declared a National Cultural Treasure or NCT by the National Museum of the Philippines or NMP in 2001. The declaration also covers the convent ruins for the church complex. Following the declaration of the San Joaquin Campo Santo Cemetery as a National Cultural Treasure by the National Museum of the Philippines, the Heritage Organization labels the church complex and the cemetery as the San Joaquin Church Complex and Campo Santo of San Joaquin Iloilo. Welcome to the Green Park! Hi Lors, right now we're here at the Green Farm which is a privately owned farm resort here in Porukdo, San Joaquin. Yes Earl, it centralizes on showcasing the agriculture, leisure, and pilgrimage. Uh-huh, and right now, let us focus on the religious aspects of the Green Farm as it showcases the religious beliefs of Roman Catholics. Let's go Earl! Let's go! 
The pilgrimage area of the resort features the story of creation of the Christ's Ascension. Before getting to cross at the highest point of the resort, you need to climb the stairs with 480 steps until the foot of the cross. But if you're only up to the Divine Mercy Shrine, you'll only need to walk 456 steps. Before climbing up the stairs, you'll see the story of creation at the first area. Here are the nine major scenarios or events that were told in the Bible that you would see and pass by. The Nativity or Birth of Christ The Baptism of Christ The Triumphant Entry of Jesus Christ to Jerusalem The Last Supper Agony in the Garden Forging at the pillar, the crucifixion, the resurrection, and the last scene before you'll reach the cross is the ascension. In just a few steps, you'll find yourself at the foot of the cross, which is about more than 200 meters above sea level. Upon entering the spiritual area, you'll come across the signage that reminds you, humility is the key to eternity. You'll need to bow upon passing at the low entrance to show reverence to the divine. And this is how the Reen Farm showcases the religious belief of Roman Catholics.